Keep it closed. Yes. Yes. Okay, and again. Good. Yeah. And again. Okay, low legs. And again, close. Don't worry about the bottom hand. Don't worry about the bottom hand. And again. Okay, guys, quick little uh, recap on Luke's backhand. You guys know Luke by now. I think it's our third video. Legend's going to uh, college very soon. But I wanted to just touch base on his backhand. So Luke's got an amazing serve, amazing forehand, incredible hands, slice, crazy volleys, okay? But do you agree your backhand? Yeah, it's not great right now. It's not great right now. It's his weakness. It doesn't mean it's weak. It's just his weakness. So when Luke started with me, and I will post the first backhand breeder we had, his backhand looked like this. It was like, it was like crazy, okay? So, and his, and his grip was way over, his left hand was way over. So we made a lot of changes. We got his grip right, and the bottom hand was also too far over this way. So his, that was the first step we took. Now, what we're currently doing is, even with the right grip, he has this thing of wanting to flick, all right? So we sort it out, just show them your back end without what we're working on, which means you don't close your strings, and I'll explain to them now. Normal grip, just don't close your strings. I wanna show them what, what it looks like. Yes, this is what he was doing. I want you to notice the back of his racket when he turns. Nice. Okay. All right. So he does hit some clean ones, but under pressure, he started pulling more and more, and it just went all over. Sometimes straight down, sometimes out. So, Luki, can you explain to him what you understand with the changes we made last week? So basically, I've changed my um, racket face to face to the ground. Yes my face so that yeah. I can get more spin and more control really. Yeah. So so tennis players would understand that by just closing his strings his back end was better. But we didn't change we didn't we he's not closing his strings by changing his grip. Okay? Grip stays the same. What I told him was when you turn, keep your strings closed and all the way over the ball, keep it closed until you're done, then release. Because if you keep your strings closed, this can't happen. So just by him focusing on that, all of a sudden he had a longer swing, he took care of the ball a lot longer. So that's what we're doing currently. Closed, closed, and it's working wonders, right? Yeah, it is. Let's do a couple more. Yeah, so with your grip and uh, the, the current one we're doing. So check your grip. So closed at the back and through. So notice, he's got a bit of uh, camera nerves now, but uh, it's open at the back. He's got to trust. So what I'm trying to explain to him is turn. You gotta trust this step forward, okay? And it stays there, it stays there, it stays there, it stays there, then release, okay? I don't care if it goes straight down, just trust it. Yes! And again, long forward, closed, okay? And again, if it goes in a net for now, it's fine. We're trying to get out of the, the put. nice follow through, very good. Yes! Good look. Okay, and again. I wish you guys could see how long his back end has come, but the biggest thing that I like about this is you are finally hitting the ball. If you keep it closed, you're hitting the ball with your left hand again. Your left hand is guiding it because your right hand can't pull now. Let me feed some from that side, show you guys, and then we'll also do some rallies. And please make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm gonna add his old back end so you guys can see the improvement. Because a lot of times you see He's back and you think, geez, there's still some work to do, but you gotta understand where, where it's come from. Keep your grip solid, especially your left hand stays behind it, and then closed before and after. Yes, long follow through forward with the closed. Yes. Carry the ball. Yes. And again. Okay, it's a bit of a flick. Let's go again. Yeah, I love that long follow through. Looks so much better, and again. Look, so your backhand will always have a little bit of a short thing like, like Medvedev. We're not going to get away from that. But we must do everything we can to make it longer for you. Make sense? So we're never going to get you out of your backhand, but we can make the best out of it. Make sense? So make it as long as you can. Couple more. Left hand closes the strings and the left hand stays closed over the ball. Good look. All right, and again. Okay, go. And again. Ah, that's a little bit flicky. Yes, show us one shadow swing, what it should look like, slow motion. Yes, yes, that, and now do one where you step in as well. 
Yes, do exactly that, champ. And again. That's fine. Go again. Okay, just trust it, trust it. There we go. Give your legs a little bit lower. That's your, one of your best ones today. Yeah, good, champ, good. And again, two more. All right, again. Go. Close, close. Very good. So one thing I want uh, the audience to understand is, and Lukey, you need to also understand this, and I think you do. Luke's backhand, if you, if you compare it to the rest of his game, your backhand is on about 20%, yeah. and he knows that. So when Luke plays tournaments and he really performs well, currently, I think your last tournament, uh, the whole tournament, you hit how many backhands? Four? Yeah, like five. Five. Yeah. In how many matches? He had like five. Yeah, so, so that's how you need to understand. In five matches, he's hit five topspin backhands. That's how low his confidence is. And uh, that's why we're working on it so hard. Because if we can get your backhand to 50%, plus the rest of your game, we're in business. Mm. So what we're going to do now, guys, we're going to hit a couple of backhand rallies. And then I'm going to show you a couple of his shots, the rest of his game, so you can see the difference and why it's so important for us to, to work on the backhand. But the improvement is crazy already. And then stay tuned for that video. His old video, I'm going to show you. Grab my ebook link in the description and subscribe. Last couple, champ. Boom. Yeah, so Lukey, we got eight months left before you go to college, man. We're gonna get that back end huge. Okay, last couple of rallies. Nice. Yes. More clothes at the back. Okay, trust it at the back. Okay, not bad, trust. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, it's, you got to follow the ball with the body as well. Yes. Long swing, long follow. Yes, Luke, again. So now that was about seven in a row. You just hit more in a row than you hit in five matches, okay? Come on, stay with me, stay with me. Great backhand. Last three. Okay, and again, legend, go. Give me a down the line winner. Woo! That's his backhand, stay tuned. We're gonna show you the rest of his game quickly. Stay tuned for 10 more, 20 more seconds to see his game. See you guys soon. So Luki, when you're playing a match and you notice your uh, ball going in the net, just check you might have used your grip to close the strings instead of your turn. All right champ, couple of points. Yes, remember your hip forward. Yes. Yes. And again. Good. Four volleys. Great hands. Great feel. Oh! Soft hands, yeah? Alright, oh, still looking special. Okay, two smashes. Yeah, one more kick.